Hello guys! For this video, we are going to solve word problems involving polynomial functions and equations. Let's start! Okay, so first problem. A rectangular field's length is twice as long as its width. If 3 feet are taken from the width and uh, 4 feet taken from the length, the resulting area of the field is 180 square feet. Find the area of the original field. So when we solve word problems, the first thing that we must do is to gather information that we can use in order for us to solve this problem. So we need to find some information from the given that will help us create our mathematical equations. So based on the problem, so the length is twice as long as its width. So with that idea, um, we know that a rectangular field has a dimension of length and width. So we have now the length and the width. And based from the problem, the length is twice as long as the width. So the length is twice or two times the width. And the width is just the width. Meaning, if we know the width, therefore we'll be able to get the length. Okay. Okay, next. If 3 feet, if 3 feet are taken from the width and 4 feet are taken from the length, then the new area is 180 square feet. And with those um, information, we now have another set of data wherein if the length, so if the length will be deducted by uh, 4 feet and the width will be deducted by 3 feet, the area will be 180 square feet okay so now let's analyze and combine the the um, given that we were able to obtain so let me change the color to yellow okay so so far we know that the length can be defined using the width so let's represent the width as the variable x and then since if the width is x then our length would be 2x and from the first statement we go now to the next statement wherein if the length will be deducted by 4 and the width will be deducted by 3 then the area of the rectangular field will become 180 feet squared so the length which is now 2x minus 4 and the width will be x minus 3 and we know that the area can be obtained by multiplying length times width. So what we need to do now is to multiply the length and the width. So if we multiply the, this is the original one, this is the original, the original dimension, and this is the new one. So the area of, two, the area which is 2x minus 4 times x minus 3, is equal to the area which is 180 feet and this is the polynomial equation that we have to solve so this is a quadratic equation so let's start solving first you have to distribute so let me write this expression here so we have 2x minus 4 times x minus 3 is equal to 180 and in order for us to solve quadratic equations we have to equate it to zero so we have to distribute and multiply these two binomials. So 2x times x is x 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12 equals to 180. And this, since this is a quadratic equation, we can solve this by combining like terms and equating it to 0. So we have 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 is equal to 180. And since we have to equate it to zero, let me just move this a bit. We will uh, add uh, or subtract 180 on both sides, or in, in simple terms, we will transpose that 180 to the left side, and we will be able to obtain 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 minus 180 is equal to zero. Okay, if we continue solving this equation, we are going to have 2x squared minus 10x plus uh, 12 minus 180 is sorry negative so it's negative 168 equals 0 
Okay, so you can start solving this one using a factoring quadratic or the quadratic formula or completing the squares. So, but since we're doing it manually in this video, so one tip is if you can factor and simplify your equation first, do it first. So we notice that 2x squared and negative 10 and negative 168 are all divisible by 2. So we can divide all the terms by 2, including the right side. Then we are going to have a simpler equation Quadratic equation x squared minus 5x minus 84 is equal to 0. And now, this is what we have to factor in order for us to solve the quadratic polynomial. Okay, so remember factoring. So, uh, if you recall factoring, all you have to do, oh wait, let me remove this so that we have space first. Okay, so if you would like to recall how to factor, all you have to do is to focus on the third term, a quadratic trinomial, third term, and list down all the possible factors, all the factors of 84. So my tip is don't mind the sign, and I will tell you later why. So factors of 84, we can divide this by 2, so 42 and 2, 42 times 2 is 84, it can be 21 times 4. And then if we divide um, tw uh, 21 by 3, we can have 7. And then multiply 4 by 3, we have 12. And among these factors, which among these factors can give us a, um, a negative 5, either plus or minus? So our focus would be this negative 5 in the middle. So among these factors, 7 and 12 can make us a negative 5. And 7 and 12 can make a negative 5 if we subtract 7 minus the 12 so positive 7 so that the factors are x positive 7 and x negative 12 and then continue solving this equation quadratic so equating both factors to 0 we are going to obtain that the x values are or sorry the x values are x minus 12 equals 0 x equals 12 and since we are dealing with dimensions since we are dealing with dimensions, then therefore, we will accept only the positive value. Okay? So, if x is equal to 12, now we can answer, okay? If x is equal to 12, now we can answer the or area of the original field. And the original field has a, a length of 2x and a width of x. Therefore, let's use orange. Therefore, 2 times 12 gives us a 24, and uh, this is just 12, so 12. So therefore, our uh, dimension or the area of the original field can be now obtained by multiplying 12 and 24. So, so since the length of uh, the original field is 24 feet and the width is 12 feet, therefore, our area, so let me put some space here. Let's just put it here on top. So the area of the original field is the area of the original field is 24 times 12 which gives you 288 square foot square feet. Okay, so that's one way to answer a word problem involving polynomial functions and this is a quadratic function. Let's proceed to the next one. Okay, so second problem. Oops. Okay, so the dimension of a room are height is equal to 3x minus 6 meters, length x plus 2 meters, and width 2x minus 3 meters. If the volume of the room is 45 cubic meters, find the dimensions of the room. So same procedure like a while ago, we have to list out our given based from the problem and the given here are the height, the length, and the width as well as the volume. So since we're do dealing with a rectangular room, yeah, the room, so we know that the volume is equal to length times the width times the height okay and based from the given based from the given our length is equal to x plus 2 our width 
is equal to 2x minus 3 and our height is equal to our height is equal to 3x minus 6 the volume is 45 square meters so all we need to do is to substitute all of this data to the formula and we're going to have 45 is equal to x plus 2 times 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 6 so the way we solve this problem all we have to do is just multiply the binomials but to make the solution see even more simple we can use factoring so what factoring am i talking about so you can notice that 3x minus 6 has a greatest common monomial factor or gcf and its gcf is 3 so therefore we can rewrite this polynomial as 3 times x minus 2 all right so let's write the rest of the polynomial so x plus 2 equals 45 okay so with that we can now uh, simplify the 45 and the 3 by dividing both sides by 3 then we're going to obtain 15 is equal to x plus 2 2 x minus 3 times x minus 2 now we can distribute and when we multiply polynomials the first thing we check is that can I apply special products so if you notice x plus 2 and x minus 2 are sum and difference of two binomials wherein when you multiply them you get the difference of two squares x squared minus 4 times 2x minus 3 now we are down to binomial times binomial so distributive property we're going to have 2x cubed multiply this we're going to get minus 3x squared then we go with negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x and negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. so since we are solving a cubic polynomial we have to equate this to 0 so 15 has to go to the right side or we have to subtract 15 on both sides leaving the left side equal to 0 and 2x mi cubed minus 3x squared minus 8x now 12 minus 15 will give us negative 3 and now we have a cubic polynomial so let me just put the screen up all right with the cubic polynomial and then this cubic polynomial can now be solved using the rational root theorem so if you want to recall how to solve cubic polynomial using rational, rational root theorem i'll put in the description the link on how to solve cubic polynomials using rational root theorem okay so let's start solving this cubic polynomial so let me rewrite this one first 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 is equal to 0 and solving this using the rational root theorem we have to list down the factors of the constant negative 3 which are the plus minus 1 and plus minus 3 only and all the factors of 2 which are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 then for us to, to get the possible rational root we have to divide the factors of the constant by the factors of the living coefficient so we're going to obtain one so that's one over one and then one half and then plus minus three and then plus minus three halves so okay now that we have eight possible rational roots we just have to choose one that can make the, the, this polynomial equal to zero and let's try to choose what if we choose negative one so f of negative one will give us 2 times negative 1 raised to 3 minus 3 times negative 1 squared minus 8 times negative 1 minus 3 and let's see if this will give us a 0 negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times 2 negative 2 negative 1 squared is 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 uh, negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8 and then minus 3 so let's see so negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8 Ma plus 8 will give us 0. So f of negative 1 is a root meaning x is equal to negative 1. So let's find another uh, roots for this polynomial using now synthetic division. So if x is negative 1 we can use that as a synthetic divisor for the um, synthetic division. So 2 negative 3 negative 8 negative 3 and let's see what we, we can get bring down 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 
add negative 5 times negative 1 is 5 add you get a negative 3 and negative 3 times negative 1 is 3 giving us a zero remainder therefore our polynomial quadratic polynomial is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 and this quadratic polynomial is now what we have to solve to get the other x's so by factoring so um, 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 can be factored by 2x and x and since it's negative it's plus minus so the factors are 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 3 and since the factors are 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 then the values of x for this quadratic uh, equation is x is negative 1 half and x minus 3 equals 0 x is equal to 3 so we got the three roots so we have the root negative 1 negative one half and positive three okay so if we go back to the problem so so far we have these three roots let's write it down here so our x values are negative one negative one half and positive three among these three we will only accept the positive value okay we will only accept the positive three why because we are dealing with a dimension and there's no such thing as negative measurement so if x is equal to 3 what is now the dimension of the room the length is 3 plus 2 which is 5 meters and uh, the width is 2 times 3 minus 3 which will give us um, 3 meters and the height is 3 times 3 minus 6 which will give you 3 meters so the dimension of the room is 5 by 3 by 3 meters okay so that's how to solve problems involving polynomial functions or polynomial equations so I hope you learned something from this video um, give this video a thumbs up if you learned and I will see you in the next video